Hey guys, well, it's me again, Don Kiker, and this is uh, everything else. It's a little perspective that I have had on uh, Goodwill, specifically over the last, I'd say, two years that I really noticed this thing. Um, if you're familiar with their program, the Half Off program, and they'll have a color of the week, and, you know, uh, at the end of the week, they put out a new color, they take the thing off, and that's how you do a lot of people, like me, you know, I'll find something, and if it's $20 and I can get it for $10, i am all in. Cha-ching! So, what I had noticed is I was watching stuff that wasn't selling, you know, and then when, when it, I would find out that morning on the Sunday when the, the color would be out there, and I would go run and look for that thing that I specifically was looking, waiting for to go on half price, and it's gone. And I'm like, well, I guess somebody did the same thing. No. What I had found out is... They actually do a bait and switch. I can't see how it's anything other than that. Uh, they will be out on the floor the day of on, on Sundays. They actually have moved it to like Mondays and Tuesdays. They are pulling all of the half price stuff off that I have seen. Not necessarily in the clothing, but the, in the boutique section or the Treasure Island section, which they call it, and also where the... Um, the other where the pictures are and especially the dvds uh records they pull the records the dvds the cds out and then that's it you don't they are no longer an option and i have talked to a few people and it would ask uh so what's the color of the day and they would say yellow and i'm like what are you doing because on their cart they're pulling all the yellow tags off i'm like well why are you pulling all the yellow half off tags uh, well, we're changing these out to get new inventory. It was like this ridiculous excuse. I'm like, you know, that's called bait and switch. Oh, no, the management, whatever they would say. It's like, I'm like, yeah, okay, I get you. But what am I going to do? I'm not going to cause a scene in there. I'm not going to go to the management. I don't want to do any of these things and get thrown out of Goodwill. I make some money and I enjoy thrifting. Uh, now, I can't say that every Goodwill does this, but specifically where I am, over here in Bradenton, specific, I have seen it. I haven't seen it over in Pinellas County. I haven't seen it in Citrus County. And I haven't seen it in other counties. But then again, I'm not out there all the time. I am over here in Bradenton, where I live. On that note, please be careful, guys. And don't get sucked into that money trap thing because you'll think you're going to save some money and get it 50 percent off and then all of a sudden it's mysteriously gone because they took it off the floor keep this stuff in mind guys please be careful out there when you're thrifting and if you got to have something buy it then and there if you've already done your research because if you're hoping to get it for 50 percent off you might just lose big time on that one when you could have actually bought something even at, at the original price and actually had you know, it was something that you wanted or you could have resold or for whatever reason you're going to do, that's what you do. Oh, the other thing that I'd like to do, I do hide things from time to time. I will find something and I will find a place and that's in a store and I will hide it and I, and they will, <laughs> and I'll find it and do even do research or something on it and then come back a couple hours later and then I got it and then snag. And I've also done this with things waiting, you know, doing how you do. Cause I, I gotta, I gotta do whatever I can to try and, you know, get past this quote unquote um policies <laughs> eBay or eBay <clears throat> goodwill policies eBay's another thing that's another story all right guys well if you haven't please like and subscribe and if you could down there somewhere is the thanks thing please i i work and do everything i can on a limited budget i really have no budget i don't have my equipment is my smartphone and this cheap little junky uh, uh, Sony Handycam, which is 14 years old. So that's what I got, and that's why I'm in 10K, and I can't really do the upgrades. <laughs> so if you could, please do that. Thanks a lot, guys. I got to get out of here. <laughs> I actually had the good thrifting. Be safe, guys, and happy thrifting.